Hi, Micro Hunter here again. And actually, I think this is going to be the very first microscopy related rant video on YouTube uh, because I want to complain about something. Okay, and uh, today I want to complain about microscope retailers and manufacturers, those folks who are selling microscopes online. And I want to complain about that because those companies are not making life easy for those people who want to start microscopy as a hobby. People send me a link and they ask me, is this a good microscope in order to see bacteria or in order to see certain things? And then what I usually do is I, I click on the link and then based on the specifications, I kind of uh, give uh, the person uh, general advice on whether the microscope is suitable for the needs and yeah um, i receive uh, messages over instagram or fa facebook even email and, and that's that's great and i think it's uh, it's really nice and cool that uh, people um yeah starting are starting to pick up the that, that hobby um but i was kind of wondering a little bit is uh, how the microscope uh, P, uh, companies how they are actually selling the microscopes and how they are presenting it and then I try to put myself into the mind of a beginner and then I start to visit um, a few of those uh, online uh, websites where they sell microscopes and uh, I have to admit I started to understand them much better why there are so many beginners with a problem uh, buying a microscope and one of the reasons is is that those information pages those product pages while they contain a lot of information and a lot of microscope specifications and all of these things, it's still not very helpful for amateurs, for beginning amateurs to actually help them to decide uh, on whether to buy a microscope because many of the specifications are either too difficult to understand or they are not relevant or they are entirely technical but do not really tell the person what the microscope is uh, suitable for. So um, I think uh, it's kind of missing a little bit the point, all of those uh, spec specifications. And um, so um, I want to also say that uh, there are some um, retailers who have a huge selection of microscopes available. I mean, uh, 1,500 different uh, <laughs> types of, of, of light microscope combinations. And uh, a beginner is not able to make an easy choice there because uh, ultimately they are, they are confronted with so much, such a wide range of different uh, combinations and choices that they're kind of worried about making a decision because they are worried that they end up buying the wrong thing um, and then they end up not buying anything at all. So it kind of blocks blocks them and that's of course not useful and uh, for this reason I highly recommend that if anyone here from, from a, is from the marketing department of one of those uh, microscope retailers uh, you, you gotta simplify your pages man honestly uh, the, reduce the number of microscopes um, available often you don't even have so many microscopes but what you do is you make small modifications um, to the microscope and then all of a sudden you have a completely new entry and it looks like it's a completely different model and it doesn't make sense. It uh, just confuses people. I mean, I give you an example. I mean, uh, some microscope manufacturers, what they do is, is they are they um, artificially drive up uh, the uh, the magnification by simply adding a high highly magnifying eyepiece. And then all of a sudden, the whole microscope is um, marketed with a higher magnification, even though it's the same microscope. That's the only thing that's different, you know. Uh, but to the beginner, it appears like it's a different microscope, and that you're able to see different things with it. But actually, no. It's just a small piece. That's uh, exchanged. So uh, that is essentially one problem uh, that uh, simply some product uh, pages are simply blown up or, or they contain irrelevant information or too technical information that might not, uh, that might confuse people more than necessary. And then uh, I checked some other microscope uh, manufacturers, um, some high-end microscope manufacturers. What they do is they're going extremely the opposite way. They only have very few models, but those models um, are so extremely expensive that it's again not interesting for beginners. Uh, I'll give you an example. I recently uh, contacted um, a, a company, microscope company, and asked them, please send me an offer for the cheapest microscope you have. And that was already over 1,000 euros. Uh, and, and honestly, the, the features were not that great. I mean, you could uh, see the same things with a, um, a microscope that only costs a fourth of the price, right? So, um, and then you could also get a, a photo tube in addition, which this other microscope didn't even have. You see, um, so this is the other um, extreme, the, the high cost and the high price. Um, but the problem is, is that also it's difficult for me to compare the prices because uh, I visited the page and then I wanted to know how much does it cost. Yeah, you've got to click a certain link uh, to request a special quote. 
okay it means i cannot even compare the prices because i gotta contact them first um, and then they uh, have to wait some time until they respond to me and then they're giving me an offer i mean what is this i mean i don't know um, nowadays uh, as the age of the internet i want to be able to compare prices quickly yeah and so you see um, all of these uh, things the high cost and the difficulty of obtaining information and the complicated information and the and, and the large number of, of choices that you have and or, or per, perceived large number of choices that you have i mean all of these things they kind of uh, i would say make life difficult for a person who's interested in amateur microscopy and would like to start the hobby so what we have to do is, is we got to simplify the whole thing um, and we have to make sure that uh, it's much easier the entry barrier should become e um, easier okay? Okay, microscopy is not so expensive as a hobby, but if people are really worried about spending uh, the little money that they have on a microscope because they're kind of worried of buying the wrong thing because they might not be able to see the things that they want to see, um, or they don't know if it's a good, sufficiently good the quality, I mean, then people are not going to end up buying a microscope um, at the end and there's this has to be this has to be uh, improved somehow okay and last but not least i i gotta go back to the magnification aspect something that disturbs me a little bit is is that uh, some some retailers are selling yeah they're um, artificially blowing up the magnification so that i don't know maybe for marketing reasons i don't know uh, but i just want to show you something simply to demonstrate uh, the following my microscope here um, has now a maximum magnification of 600 times or so 60 times um, objective down here and a 10 times eyepiece what i'm going to do you now is i'm going to show you how i can increase the magnification of this microscope here all the way up to 6000 times not kidding optical uh, magnification 6000 times doesn't even cost a lot of money it's really cheap all you need is the following you need two barlow lenses and a highly magnifying eyepiece now look what i'm doing okay I'm taking this eyepiece out and I'm inserting the two times Barlow here. I'm doubling the magnification. I'm doubling it again. And I'm adding the 25 times eyepiece. So I have a total magnification of 25 times two times two. That's 100 times times 60 objective 6,000 times magnification. Isn't this great? Wow. Look at this. And it only costs a very low amount and you can already get a 6,000 times magnification. People, it doesn't make sense. If you look through the whole thing, you're not going to see anything uh, because it's so dark uh, because uh, the higher you magnify, the lower the light intensity. Okay. And the second thing is it's going to be so blurry that you don't see anything at all. And uh, again, so what's the whole point? But that is essentially, yeah, now I can sell this microscope as a very expensive 6,000 times magnifying microscope. Come on. Okay, you get the point. Any magnification above 1000 times is so-called empty magnification. This means that you, it simply appears larger the image and more blurry. So there is no point. And that's one of the things that disturbs me a little bit is that many microscope uh, retailers are trying to advertise their microscopes with unrealistically high magnifications. And this simply also only confuses beginners because then they don't know should they buy a microscope with a 2000, 2000 times magnification or one with 3000 times. And I'm telling you, it's totally irrelevant because uh, you're only going to be working maximum up to 1000 times anyway and in real life it's like this the most interesting water sample uh, specimens that you find they can be perfectly seen all the way up uh, to a magnification of around 200 to 400 times so what's the whole point so you see all of this stuff unnecessary information which simply yeah i would say um, is an information overload and totally irrelevant and this simply puts people off uh, from buying a microscope i i think okay because it's simply more confusing than necessary so that's this was my rant the very first uh, microscopy rant <laughs> leave some comments behind i uh, want to hear your opinion on the whole issue and happy microbe hunting see you around next time bye bye